thanks for visiting my channel today i'm sharing the most easiest way to roast a lamb leg the recipe is based on a mediterranean style overnight marination so let's roast a fall off the bone lamb leg Here is the lamb leg I got from the local halal meat store and it's almost 7 pounds. It's pretty heavy to deal with. I'll be washing this with uh, thoroughly with the white vinegar and water. So lamb leg is pretty large so it's important to just right here ask the butcher to break the, the joints so you can easily fit the bone into your roasting pan. Lamb marination is very easy. You need four roughly chopped onions, six to eight garlic cloves, all spices and black pepper, just one tablespoon. Chop everything into a chopper and make a smoothie-like paste that you don't want to drink. Add one and a half tablespoon of pink salt and blend one more time. Marinade is ready and now it's time to marinate the leg, lamb leg. So here's my lamb leg and I'm just going to try to trim any excess fat. And this is the piece that comes the, with the lamb leg so I might not need it later on. But right now I'm keeping it. Here I'm using a poke knife and poking the meat all the way through. These sharp cuts will help marinate flavors going all the way through to the meat and the bones just making random cuts in no particular order here i have uh, garlic cloves cut into slices use this garlic cloves and insert into the holes that we made into lamb leg for aroma i'm also using the cloves whole cloves and inserting into right beside the garlic cloves this makes the meat smell super delicious. So here's the meat looks after we inserted the garlic cloves and the spice cloves. So now I'm using the onion mix that we made earlier and spreading all over the lamb. Make sure to cover every inch of this lamb leg with the marinade. Onions contain proteolytic enzymes which makes them ideal to help tenderize the meat. Repeat the same process other side of the lamb leg and cover it with this wonderful marinade. You need to use entire mixture to not waste. Just gently massage the rest of the mixture on top of the lamb and it's ready to marinate. If you notice, I lined my tray with the plastic wrap. So this helps me wrap the meat with the marinade without wasting the marinade mixture. So I'm just wrapping that um, plastic wrap around. Here I'm placing the whole wrapped lamb leg with the marinade into this largest zipper lock bag for the overnight marination. It has been total 14 hours and now my lamb is ready to roast. And it has been well marinated. As you see, the color has been changed uh, from the, the fresh one to the marinated one. It's become a little darker and it is going to be super soft and moist when I uh, slow roast it. So I decided to take this piece off of the lamb leg so that will be easy to handle and it will cut off some cooking time. Make sure to wipe off all of the marinade do not leave marinade on when you roast it so i'm even using dry paper towel just to wipe off all the marinade it's time for me to use the dry rub i'm using just the locally available uh, barbecue dry rub and just putting on top of this lamb leg really massage it well 
so you can use any kind of rub or you can make your own rub you can make also the wet rub just like you know tikka style or uh, any other rub you would like or you can just bake it without anything on it let's roast slow roast the lamb leg it's ready to go into oven i didn't have a rack the baking rack so i'm using this technique for roasting I'm using sliced onions instead this will prevent the meat from burning and it will roast really evenly the heat will go evenly to the meat uh, while it's roasting just place the marinated lamb leg on top of the onions and seal it well here i'm using two sheets of two even sheets of uh, aluminium foil one sheet will not cover the entire pan so we need to make sure that entire pan is covered with the aluminium foil before you roast just cover the pan and seal it really good we don't want any steam out so you see from all four corners you have to make sure everything is sealed really really well finally it's time to put the pan into the oven at 350 degree we will be slow roasting for at least three hours it has been three hours and it's time to check the meat using the dinner knife if it goes all the way through that means your lamb leg is finally ready to serve fall off the bone scrumptious looking lamb leg is ready to serve as you can see how easily i can remove the shoulder bone i served roasted lamb leg with the roasted vegetables i used small potatoes carrots and the sweet potatoes lamb leg turned out to be scrumptious it was so delicious and super easy to eat and also infused with lots of flavors so please do try this recipe at home and let me know how you like it Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.